Hey everybody, this is Joe. This will be a Power Virtuoso POV for Harvest Temple CN. Um, there is just a lot going on in this fight, so I'll try to talk on what I can. Basically, you want to try to be on your set that has your bloodlust if you're using one. Try to tag as many of the ads in the front part as you can, as you have a lot of time to get the, um, to keep the achievement for the Void Walker. As soon as it's about to hit, you want to get your CCs off. You want to do it quickly, because that bar does recharge kind of like Sabir. And then you head to the boss quickly, so your baiters can pick up those red circles there. It happens really fast. If you're doing greens as I am, if you don't need your blink for other stuff, you can blink out at the last second. That'll just help with your quickness up time. Of course, all of the range people should be the ones that are trying to get the uh, spread so the main melee classes can do their damage. There we phase kind of weird. Uh, we should have delayed DPS a bit, so we still had to spread, but it worked out all right. Usually wait for your invis, and then when they clump up all together, then you start your rotation as soon as you can target the dragon. Uh, again, be in your set that has the bloodlust. Try to get as many um, tags on the adds as you can, but um, focus your main damage on the uh, on Primordis himself. Make sure to always wait for that big red circle to fully disappear before you take the portal because um, it does kind of like fade away uh, where if you take it while it's doing that you will die still. And then basically just find your uh, safe little spot here right next to that headbutt. After two of those you'll DPS a bit and then you want to get ready to run out um, it's good to have a few a few people go to the far side and then the so it doesn't get too crowded over there on the on the near side of course again you want your um, you want your people with low mobility to be the ones closest to the edge and that way they won't get the spread out mechanic that and so they won't have to um, they'll have an easier time making it out so they don't have to wait on other people. When you face here, at the very end of each dragon, basically you just want to auto attack and then wait for your um, mess and viz after the enemies clump up, blast them down. Calcatoric here is pretty straightforward, you just start in the middle and you go to the right side. The right side is flanking, that's why you go to that side. Um, so the melee or so the soul, soul beast if you have any can pick up their flanking bonus. And you just alternate outside, then inside, then outside until it's dead. Watch out for the big meteors if they come, they'll be pretty large AOEs. But they do a significant amount of damage. You'll also see I took a massive amount of damage there, uh, so you might delay when those things, uh, when those strikes disappear, you might delay just a, a little bit. But I think they do persist for a small amount of time. Instead, you're heading over toward uh, the void caster or the time caster. Another 
And here people are killing ads, some people are pushing. You see me there, I'm pushing there. And then always watch for the um, last lap. When all the enemies die, they leave an explosion. Be ready for fast CC like always on the orb. And try to kill mobs as you run back to boss. For more drum off here, you're usually going to have stab for your first um, shockwave. As soon as he does that um, that breath there, then you want to start basically spreading out. Uh, you jump one and then go back while still jumping the last two, but head back to the group. If you get hit by any of those waves, it gives you a damage reduction. Um, so you're basically just getting stabbed in case you get hit. That way, hopefully, you can get a res. But they're pretty straightforward to jump. Uh, you can jump early. I think it gives you a pretty, pretty long window. So don't panic too much. Take your time. But always start spreading out just a hair early if needed. Especially if your group is um, just starting, getting used to where everybody's going. The more you do it, the more of a routine you'll get into. As soon as he dies, you want to stop again and get a good invis when all the giants get to you. Then you CC them all and, um, and then move out. Everybody will basically go to the greens and the rest of the group will head, stay on this close one. You want to finish off the giants quickly before they put down their fields uh, with the green acid especially. And once they're dead, it's pretty straightforward from there. After the stun break, again, you'll get the hang of where the group spreads to. You'll each get into kind of your own little spot. Whenever, if you're doing a green, whenever you go out, you want to watch all these AOEs. Oh, yeah, we didn't get them in this run because every other one at the moment is kind of bugging. But there will be... Um, a whole bunch of AOEs on the ground. You do not want to run through any of those as they will give uh, damage debuff and do a lot of damage as well. After this phase is the salt spray. Pretty straightforward. Again, you'll have people clearing ads. Um, you'll have your main group on the champ. And then someone, one or two people, will usually go over to start pushing the orb. And just kind of get it moving. And then wait for the dragon to die. And then push it on over. And then the rest of the group will... Try to get it moving quickly to the last one. Get a quick CC. These orbs going around aren't that big of a threat, but avoid them when you can. But if you have to take something, it's okay. Always try to stand between those arrows, uh, and also on the on the semicircle AOE. Make sure you're not in that, as it it's an instant kill if he hits you with that slash. And I believe that even in the safe-looking area, right past the semicircle, sometimes he will still hit you. So try to give it a nice area. 
Again, don't get hit by any of the breath there. Let's try to dodge through the shockwaves. I also see that I brought mental con concentration just in case for a stun break. I got we got tired of um, getting that. knocked out of our greens. <laughs> Don't have to, but okay. On this part, you're heading to the orb. You can kill ads on your way if you're able to. Um, but basically, you want to get in position so you can ping pong this thing good. The idea here is to get it over toward the heart X area. That way you can all be there whenever it dies. So you can get an invis once again for the Goliath and uh, Wyvern champions. All right, let's see when it gets low, we're all heading toward Port Hart. And you get a quick CC on the Goliath. The Goliath is the one you want to kill first. Basically do your full rotations on it, Get uh, try to dodge that big ice field that you just seen there. And then if you're doing a green, you dodge and blink toward your green. Or however your group is doing it. Some will do forward, some will whatever you decide on. Main things you're watching here are the shockwaves, and there's also a shockwave coming off of the champ that you just saw there. Um, and then the adds are also can also kick you or hit you with their club. Anyway, they'll knock you back. that wyvern comes in like that try to um, get a good cc on him that way it'll buy you some time and it'll also hopefully allow you to cleave him down if needed otherwise i think most people are trying to ignore him you see the green spawned right there so it was basically do or die at that point but yeah that's it hope you enjoy it uh, good luck in your pulls, and thanks for watching. See ya.